A very good evening, my dear friends, and a warm welcome to our first Friday adoration. Today, in a special way, we're going to be reflecting on consecrated life. Today's adoration will be conducted by our Redemptor students at our seminary in Bangalore. So they're going to help us reflect on calling to religious life and praying for all consecrated people. Today, in a special way, I request you as you join in this First Friday Adoration to specially pray for all Redemptorists and also for all consecrated men and women who have dedicated their lives for the service of God and His people. And in a very special way, I want to thank all our Redemptor students and also our Prefect uh, of Students and the entire community for helping us reflect and helping us pray on this first Friday. Now over to Mount St. Alphonsus, Bangalore, along with our brothers. A very good evening and a warm welcome to everyone. As we gather to spend this hour in adoration, we will reflect upon the lives of four of our Redemptive Saints and their profound love for the Eucharist. The stories of these great saints serve as a guide, drawing us closer to Christ and reminding us of the redemption he has brought to us. They bear witness to our Redeemer, who makes himself present for each of us in the Blessed Sacrament. As we begin this adoration, let us join in a hymn as we welcome the Eucharistic Lord into our midst. Oh 
gracious Lord as we enter into this sacred moment we humbly gather before your divine presence in the stillness of our hearts we recognize the sanctity of this encounter and acknowledge your boundless love that beckons us closer grant us the grace to open our minds and hearts allowing your light to illuminate our souls in the sanctuary of the most blessed sacrament where the sparrow has found a dwelling and the swallow a nest we encounter a divine mystery a nest where our king and god has chosen to reside this sacred abode on our altars beckons our hearts to become a dwelling place for love as we stand before the tabernacle may we realize that jesus in his infinite love for us has made himself a home among us seeking our affection lord of hosts king and god your presence in the most blessed sacrament is a testament to your boundless love for humanity grant us the grace to respond with hearts that like the sparrow and the swallow find their dwelling in the warmth of your divine love help us to recognize this altar as a sacred meeting place where our treasure is kept and our hearts are drawn closer to you oh the relentless love of our most amiable jesus he who finds delight with us longs for our hearts to be passionately enamored of him in his infinite majesty and goodness he showers us with affection leaving us in awe of his divine love lord break through the barriers of our indifference ignite within us the fire of love that matches the intensity of your divine ardor may we no longer be among the ungrateful but resolve to love you with all our being let the sweetest attractions of your love draw us compelling us to respond with an unwavering devotion make us o god fervent lovers of the one who so passionately loves us dear lord jesus christ we desire to love you with all our strength to obey you selflessly and serve you out of love take possession of our entire being and grant us the grace to be all yours in the heavenly court saint bernard hails the blessed virgin mary as the ravisher of hearts she who goes about stealing hearts with the charms of her beauty and goodness becomes our model and intercessor as we kneel before you may she steal our hearts as well offering them to god with hers oh mother most amiable as we surrender our hearts to you guide us to a deeper love for your son offer our affections to god uniting our desires with yours in this sacred encounter let mary be our guide and may our hearts become treasures sought by the divine king through her intercession may our love for jesus be a radiant response to the love poured out in the most blessed sacrament Thank you.
consuming fire burn in me. My desire is to my first love.
my dear brothers and sisters we should look to the saints as our heavenly friends as our brothers and sisters in the faith and as our teachers today these four redemptive saints are going to help us adore the lord in a meaningful way St Alphonsus Maria de Liguori St Alphonsus in his book Visits to the Blessed Sacrament writes It is true our Lord hears our prayers anywhere for he has made the promise ask and you shall receive but he has revealed to his servants that those who visit him in the blessed sacrament will obtain a more abundant measure of grace this blessed sacrament fills our hearts with divine love it's like a special way to connect with god who is love itself the bible says god is love and being in his presence is like being close to a powerful and purifying fire that burns away earthly desires and distractions jesus the son of god came to ignite this love within us and all he wants is to see this holy fire burning in our hearts when we receive him in the eucharist in a special way he sets our hearts on fire with his love spending time adoring jesus in the blessed sacrament is the most important and pleasing to god let us make a prayer asking the intercession of saint alphonsus that we may find some time during the day to be in a church with jesus in the blessed sacrament so that we may discover how sweet and wonderful it is to be in the presence of the lord
Saint Clement Mary Hofburg. Saint Clement started the much needed ministries to the poor and then he began to look for funds and eventually succeeded because of his persistent efforts. Sometimes Hofburg did not know where to turn for help. Then he went into the church, knocked on the tabernacle door and pleaded, Lord, help, now is the time. Such is the confidence he had in the Eucharistic Lord. Let us make a prayer to Saint Clement Mary Hofburg. Today for his intercession that through his intercession we may be inspired to spend some time each day to be in a church with Jesus who is present in the blessed sacrament.
Saint Gerard Magella. Saint Gerard Magella once said, "The most blessed sacrament is Christ made visible. The poor sick person is Christ again made visible." This quote emphasizes his deep belief that Jesus is present in the blessed sacrament and also in those who are suffering. Saint Gerard made it a habit to spend long hours in silent adoration before the blessed sacrament. His love for Jesus and the belief in his true presence in the Eucharist motivated him to do this. Saint Gerard is considered a great patron of Eucharistic adoration and we can ask for his help through prayers seeking to develop a similar love and devotion to the blessed sacrament in our own lives he also visited churches where the blessed sacrament is exposed showing his love for jesus saint gerard is a great example of someone who loved spending time with jesus in the blessed sacrament and we can ask him to help us through his intercession to love and adore jesus in the same way prayer let us make a prayer to saint gerard today for his intercession that we may grow in love for the holy eucharist so that when we receive jesus in the form of bread and wine we may love him more all the days of our life
Saint John Neumann. A prayer attributed to Saint John Neumann expresses a profound and ardent love for Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. In the prayer, he acknowledges his desire to fully love Jesus with his whole heart and expresses a deep desire to be in close relationship with him in the Blessed Sacrament. St. John Neumann refers to Jesus as the sweet bridegroom of his soul, emphasizing an intimate and personal relationship with the Lord who is present in the Blessed Sacrament. To remain in close relation with the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, he would be willing to endure hardships like hunger, thirst, heat and cold. These words of the saint reflect a sacrificial commitment to remain in the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. Overall, the prayer conveys a deep yearning for closeness to Christ. As we are in the presence of God, we pray for the grace that inspired by the words of St. John Neumann, we may have in us an ardent love for Jesus who is present for us in the Blessed Sacrament.
our prayers are so dear to god that he has given us his angels to present them to him as soon as they are offered the angels preside over the prayers of the faith prayer of the faithful and offer them daily to god the prayers of the saints are like the sacred smoke of incense that saint john saw ascending before the lord from the hands of the angels let us now offer our prayers for the needs of the world and our families Francis bishops priests and religious leaders that they may guide the christian community towards a strong and unwavering faith in the lord may they work diligently to create a world where god's peace and justice prevail we pray to the lord leaders across the globe that they may boldly respond to the holy spirit's call to unite against violence and racism may everyone recognize each person as a child of god regardless of race language or culture may they work towards a world of peace love and justice we pray to the lord to the priesthood and the catholic church especially we pray for the young people may the spirit of god guide them in their discernment and we pray that many young people may respond to god's call in the service of his people we pray to the lord
citizens of our country may the holy spirit guide them in choosing leaders wisely fostering justice equality and freedom we pray lord the church in india may all our leaders become a sign of hope to work towards peace love and unity recognizing and upholding the equal human dignity of all may people experience the love of god and realize that we are all children of god we pray to the lord for those whose hearts and minds are preoccupied with worldly concerns leading them to have less regard for god may the spirit of god intervene in their lives we pray to the lord let us pray for our personal and community needs as we sum up our prayers and petitions we pray the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil
be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be a holy immaculate conception. Blessed be a glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and His saints. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of Thy passion, grant us, we beseech Thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of Thy body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruit of Thy redemption, who livest and reignest world without.